I'll make this a quick one. Uh, Cause this shit is like repeating history and you should never repeat history, okay? Either you learn from history and never repeat the parts of history that cause detrimental harm to other people or you remove yourself from any decision making, okay? Those are the rules. So, on uh, Monday, my daughter, Amanda, <clears throat> she spends the entire day applying for a Department of Social Services assistant. She's on the streets, okay? Not a good place to be for a female. And she didn't get there all by herself because she had a place that was subsidized, subsidized by uh, Section 8 housing, and her landlord at the time was refusing the payments that were coming through from Section 8, and then he evicted her. Without any type of holdover proceeding, he was just allowed with the Livingston County Sheriff's to boot her to the street, and she lost a lot of her stuff. And the stuff that she did uh, was she was able to salvage. She brought it to this girl's house who kicked her out and then destroyed her shit. Because that's Livingston County, New York. I mean, they have zero class in anything they do. So Monroe County tells her from what she's telling me, which I believe it's true because this is a case in history. If you want to go back and look at historical cases, it's a true case which proves they're repeating the past. They denied people in the 1800s, early 1900s, any type of assistance because they had a post office box and they claimed that the post office box itself was their residence and therefore they weren't homeless. Well, why don't you try moving into a little five by, I don't know, 10 inch postal box that you're renting so that you can keep on top of what's coming through so you can send and receive mail basically and have an address associated with the sending and receiving of mail. And so they denied all these people um, proper shelter and uh, claiming that they had residence because they had a post office box. Well, this is the same shit that she was told. Well, you have residence. You're not homeless. Technically, you're not considered homeless. You have a post office box. If you have a post office box, you're not homeless. A post, a renting a post office box is not renting a large enough space to hold your body with a large enough space to lay your body down to rest at intervals, nor is it a place where you can shower and bathe and cook food. Like, I can't deal with the United States, and nobody's monitoring these ding-dong, like, idiot freaks that are in charge of all these programs but you keep paying taxes you keep paying taxes with zero oversight no one lives in a p.o box it's not a physical address there's a difference between a mailing address and a physical address okay and if you're not intelligent enough to figure that shit out all on your own in today's day and age then you really do need psychiatric help. Like enough is enough.